Like that's why I ended up in Eastern Turkey. I just knew that I loved this place and I loved this community and that there were bees everywhere. And I followed bees because I've been following bees since I was a little kid. And it filled my life with so much meaning. And then I was like, okay, let's figure out how we can make this sustainable. How do we unlock this story for other people to hear? I've constantly been drawn to the outdoors and I think that's why I find myself in these very rural environments and being quite at peace and at home with those, those kinds of communities. The place where I had felt the most connectivity in my young and early life had been in these high plateaus in eastern Turkey. And so I decided I would move back there. One of the things I started doing was interviewing older beekeepers and capturing their stories, um, just listening to them, preserving some of these cultures and food traditions that are being lost. The more that I would chat with the local community and they would nudge me, like, bring people, bring people, bring people, I was like, what if I brought people and we paid you for it? Like, what if we created a honey tasting tourism route and we use the proceeds to help you get more beekeeping supplies so you can sustainably keep bees and give you an education, but we'll do it in your homes so you don't have to leave your kids or you don't have to leave your villages. Essentially, that's what turned into my honey company, which was called Balyalu. Because of my work doing this research and organizing with the community, um, I was granted a National Geographic Young Explorer grant. We worked with eight villages in this process. Um, we had five women and 25 hives per village that were our Balyalu hives that we would work with, and it was not easy. There were a lot, of, um, a lot of political forces that just made it really challenging to continue. It was worthwhile. It was worthwhile work and it felt meaningful to me and I connected with the local population a lot. There was one thing that I could do. It would be to, how can I be a bridge for greater understanding and how can I help others who have this fear overcome their fears and get to know each other better. My dream and goal has always been to help people listen to each other more. It's like the coolest things in my life have all come from building a space for people to show me, show me who they are and show me what they're doing. But I think there will become and there is a growing need for very supportive and cool physical spaces to create and make great art um, and to listen to great art and to tell great art. And, and I hope to have the opportunity to set up more of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs>